These paving stones, you know, for want of a better word, they look familiar. And I've seen in many graveyards whereby stones, old headstones, have been used. They're usually turned over so you can read the writing, but you just walk over the top of them. But what I've noticed about this place is the amount of smashed up stones that have been used. And I've just spotted one. Uh, God, where's it gone? I've just spotted a little bit of a one here, and I'll show you plenty more when we go around. There. Smashed up bit, wedged in there. There you have another smashed up stone there. And that's one hell of a vent for the low levels. Now the chap has said if I come back in 20 minutes or so he might let me take pictures inside. But before doing that, uh, I just want to point out a couple more things. Right, regarding these smashed up gravestones. Now you went into a cemetery, a cemetery brought a gravestone and there'd be hell on. You know, you'd end up in court, severely would be fined, if not a couple of months in prison. But yeah, the 100 year maritime law means that once these stones, I think it's right, are 100 years old, the church then has the legal right to do with them what they want, basically. And while I'm here, break me bloody neck getting down there. You know, that's quite, quite clearly a cut stone. See the lovely groove put into it. Yeah. Hundreds of pounds of these huge stones made and erected just to be used as hardcore building material, really. I mean, you can see that's a calf stone. That is there. You come round here. And I mean that's been a hell of a size one. Add. <laughs> so there you are with these buildings. I'm just staggered by the amount of broken, you know, tombstones being used. See, I've seen other churches where the full ones are laid down flat and you can walk on top of them. But I've never seen them all smashed to bits like this.